All right, y'all boys, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys where to get all of the breathing styles. Not only that, I'm gonna show you how to actually get your katana because once you get in the game, you're gonna start off with fist combat. So you're gonna to need to know the fastest way to get your katana. And once we get the katana, I'm gonna show you guys where all the breathing instructors are. And that's it, let's do it. So when you spawn in, you're either gonna spawn in this location or this location. Now, this village is pretty useless for new levels, so I don't understand why they make you spawn here. But to get straight into the game, you are able to buy like um, things to help you progress, like fishing and stuff like that. But you don't want to do that. So to get out of this village and come to the village to actually start your journey, um, just follow me. This is the pathing, obviously the gate of the village. You're just going to run and take this path. Now you're in the wilderness, you can cut through here, or you could just do this. And you're just gonna turn here, and you're just gonna follow the path. Now you can use these guys as fast travel, they take you to different villages. Um, but I usually always just run where I need to go, mainly because, I don't know, I feel like the locations of those horses are just a bit weird, in my opinion. Obviously, you can mess around and get used to that, but I say it's better to run around the map just so you know where you're going. Well, using the teleportation thing costs money, so then again, you know, you might not actually have the money to do that. Okay, so we are approaching the village, the only village that really matters in the game. <laughs> All right, so now that you're here, you're gonna again you're only gonna have your fist right now if you have fist mastery just so you can deal more damage right you have your sword mastery and you have your other mastery if you have breathing you can talk to safan if you have um fist and you can just punch the log a little bit get your um fist mastery up and you'll deal more damage over time so the first thing you want to do is talk to sumi skip to quest one you're gonna skip que to quest one um until you're about level five or six, I recommend. And after you're level five, so it's gonna make you defeat these uh, Zuko bandits, or whatever they're called. And after you're level five or six, you're gonna talk to her again. And you're gonna skip to quest three. Quest three gives you the, the quest to defeat Zuko. And if you defeat him, he gives you a necklace. So look, you can see right there, it gives you a necklace. 20% chance of doing it and to contribute towards getting the necklace all you have to do is more than 5% damage so if you do more than 5% damage you'll get a chance of getting a necklace well I already have um, the necklace so it doesn't matter so you're gonna keep doing the the boss quest until about level 10 once you're level 10 you should have enough money to get you a sword right so I recommend once you're level 10, get you a sword. If you have enough money, you can come get a sword anyways, right? In between that time. So green katana is 500 and the golden katana is a thousand. So by the time you're level 10, you should have that amount of money from, from just completing the quest. There's no reason why you shouldn't. And now that you have your katana, I'm gonna show you where the breathing styles are. Now, when it gets dark in this game, it gets dark pretty quick. So I'm gonna show you guys where to go before it gets too dark. Obviously, once it gets dark, Muzan spawns. And if you wanna know how to become a demon pretty easily, I do actually have my becoming Muzan's upper rank demon. So you guys can watch that. Kind of showcases everything fairly easily for y'all boys. But hopefully you're paying attention to where I'm going. You're really just gonna wanna climb up here. Once you climb up here, you're gonna talk to this guy and you can start your quest training to get your thunder breathing. It's as simple as that. And obviously you got Zenetsu over there that you can go fight. I know it's dark now, but you guys are gonna need to follow along with where I'm going. 
Okay, so we're back at the town. From the town, in order to get water breathing, you're going to come here. I'll try and make the pathing as simple as possible, especially because it's starting to get dark and the terrain may not seem familiar at night time because you guys are going to be new players. Okay, so once you're at this waterfall, you'll see a bridge, the waterfall. You're just gonna wanna come in through here. You won't be able to miss it. It's literally like very obvious. There's a gap in between the rocks. And then bow. There we go. The water trainer. All right, cool. So now that we're back, we're going to... I wanna show you guys where the wind breathing trainer is. So just follow my path. So yeah, you got at his house, literally, you cannot miss it. So this is where the wind trainer is. Talk to him and you can do wind breathing. Okay, so this one's a bit different. So for this one, I do recommend opening up your map, using your map, and then getting Butterfly Mansion. So to get Butterfly Mansion, you can either spend a thousand of the in-game money or use 75 Robux. But I don't recommend using actual Robux. So buy the map, um, Butterfly Mansion. As simple as that. Talk to this guy. Oops. And then Butterfly Mansion. And then you'll be here and you can set your spawn. But if you still want to know the map pathing to get here, I will show you.
Okay, so I know it's getting quite foggy, but you guys should be able to still follow through with me. Just keep following the path. Then bow. Look, you're gonna see the whole guy, whole sky, and then you're gonna take literally the first left you see. And you have Butterfly Mansion. And once you have Butterfly Mansion, all you need to do is talk to her, and you can start your butterfly insect breathing. 